Here he is. How oh, this? Out with it. How goes the training? Their aim could be steadier, but they're battle ready. Even if that battle is with a dragon? Can any man hope to be ready for a dragon? I can but hone their skills and harden their hearts. The rest is up to the gods. You were the one presiding over the execution. Not my finest hour. Rogvir was a fine and honorable man. So you think what he did was right? No, I think he was entirely wrong. Rogvir's execution was justified and necessary. Being honorable might make you a good man, but it doesn't make you right. Be a better world if it did. Captain, Angela sent me to ask about her daughter. Generally posting information is need to know only. I think Angela needs to know. I... I've been trying to find the time and place to let her know. Her daughter was sent to Whiterun. The skirmishes there have been violent. The Whiterun legate, he needed to know the Stormcloak positions. He sent out a party to scout the area. They happened upon a large force. I'm told none of them made it back. Private Morard, Angela's daughter, was in that scouting party. She needs to be told. I'll tell her. We may as well do these quick quests. Get a bit of extra money. Hail companion. I'll see if the general trader has any poisons on them, actually. See if we can sell some more stuff. There you are. It's good to see a fresh face. You wouldn't have happened to come from White Run, would you? I have some news about your daughter. You got Aldous to tell you something. I knew you would. What did he say? Angela, Mrs. Maraud, your daughter is dead. I told her. I told her the Imperial Army would kill her. That this was a war of Jarls and Imperial Generals and we had no part in it. She just wouldn't hear it. It was brave of you to come to me with this. I can't thank you for it, not for this. But you have done me a service. I hope your parents are proud of you. They have a lot of reason to be. Aromatics, so you sell perfumes? We mostly carry herbs and alchemical ingredients, that sort of thing. Before the war, our stock was mostly used for aromatic use in homes, yes. These days, we have more people like you coming in, looking for healing and the like. Oh, okay. Don't forget me next time you need herbs and poison. Okay. We'll quickly go and see the general trader again and then we'll head up to the Blue Palace. Because there's some stuff to do there. Viren said you got here just before the execution. Must have been a lovely first sight. What your style? Take a look. Okay, so let's have a little look at your potions. You've got potent poison, but you've not got any weak poison. I'll buy that. And sell... Sell those. What else can we sell here? A 
looking for those. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. I may as well have a look at what I can actually put on favourites. Favourite those. Favourite that. I'll put these clothes on now. That does not suit me. The things I do for people. Okay, so. We'll keep on trucking this way. I need to go to the Bard College as well, but I'll do that on the way back from the new pass, I think. Hmm. Papa says I won't see Rob here anymore, but he wouldn't tell me why not. You don't want no kid. To your madness, and your madness is the method and the melody. Ah, this guy I'm looking for. Hey, wanna play tag? Please, take pity on an old madman. Here, have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. What else do you need? My master has abandoned me, abandoned his people, and nothing I say can change his mind. Now he refuses to even see me. He says I interrupt his vacation. It's been so many years. Won't you please help? Why don't you leave your master? Oh, you just don't understand. Without him, I am not free. Without him, I am doomed. All of his empire shall fall into chaos. How do I find your master? Last I saw him, he was visiting a friend in the Blue Palace. But no one as mundane as the Yarrow. No, no, such people are below him. No, he went into the forbidden wing of the palace to speak with an old friend. Said it had been ages since they had last had tea. Oh, and you'll need the hip bone. It's very important. No entering Pelagius's wing without that. Right. Until next time. Just back away slowly, you're weird. Uh, since we're at the Bard's College, we may as well speak to someone. Youngest Bard at the Bard's College, at your service. What do you do around here? I'm a Bard, from the Bard's College here in Solitude. Wanderers like you should think about applying. Okay. I'm glad I could help. We were told about the Bard's Palace in Solitude, so may as well check it out. I am a wanderer after all, so... Welcome to the Bard's College. I'm the headmaster here. How may I help you? I'm looking to apply to the college. Always a pleasure to meet a prospective Bard. You should be aware that many apply, but we accept very few people. When possible, we ask applicants to perform tasks the college needs completed. In this case, I do have a task befitting an aspiring bard. What do you need me to do? Elisif has forbidden the burning of King Olaf, a festival put on by the bard's college. We need to change her mind. To convince her, I want to read King Olaf's verse, a part of the poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Unfortunately, the verse was lost long ago. And that's where I come in. Yes, according to Giraud, our history's keeper, the portion of the Edda dealing with King Olaf might still exist in Dead Man's Respite. I need you to retrieve the poem. So what is the Poetic Edda? 
I think Giraud here would give you the best explanation of both it and the history of King Olaf's verse. You should speak to him about it. Why did Elisif forbid the festival? As you may be aware, Elisif's husband, High King Torig, was recently killed. Elisif mourns her husband deeply, and she feels that a festival that burns a king in effigy is... distasteful. I tried to convince her the festival is many centuries old and celebrates solitude, but I need proof. I believe King Olaf's verse will provide that proof. What do you know about dragons? Not much, to be honest. Their return was a shock to us all. Gerard Germain has some tomes about them in the library, if you're interested. Has the war affected the college much? Uh, not much, but as a bard, I find the whole affair depressing. There are no heroes in this war, no winners to be had, and no real conclusion. If you want something a bard can dig into, look to the dragons. A thousand years from now, Skyrim will have changed rulers dozens of times. But the return of the dragons, that story is once in an era. I wish you luck in finding the verse. Good to meet a prospective bard. Vyamu said you could tell me about the poetic Edda. He's sending you after King Olaf's verse, then. That's good. We shouldn't leave it lying around now that I've figured out where it is. The verse was Svaknir's contribution to the Poetic Edda, the living history of Skyrim. Each bard adds to the Edda in his or her time. So King Olaf's verse is a lost part of the Edda. And a very ancient one. The verse criticized the reigning King Olaf. He was so incensed the bard was put to death and all the copies burned. At least, that's what we thought until I translated some ancient texts a year or so ago. We now believe King Olaf buried the truth with the bard. If I'm right, Svaknir and King Olaf's verse lie in dead men's respite, along with the burial chamber of King Olaf himself. Okay. Be careful. You might find more than just King Olaf's verse. Ildi, what year did the Aldmeri Dominion invade the Empire? I have Lydia faith that so you'll return with King Olaf's verse. What happened during the Red Year? I am Dean of Loot at the Bard's College, and no, I don't give private lessons. Okay. Glad that distraction's over. I don't want to give her the loot explosion. yet. I need to talk to this girl. Good evening. I'm Pantia Atia, the master vocalist. Oh. So... Hang on a minute. You can only give any instruments when you found them. Well, that's lame. Unless we have specific things. Moon Palace. I find your wolf is green. Couple of quests here that we can pick up. There's a lot to pick up in this city. We will be spending a good amount of time in solitude. Seville Stentor has a grasp of magical theory that I would never have expected from a human, even a Breton. Are you the court wizard? No, that honor is Seville Stentor's. A smart man steers clear of Stentor. And keeps himself out of the dungeon when she's having a bad day. What do you mean? Let's just say that the headsman's axe may not be the worst way for a solitude jail prisoner to die. Look at that. I've told you to watch your tongue, and mine is waggling. I've said enough. So what's your job here? I make sure Erica keeps breathing. Wow. You are free to leave. I'm not gonna leave yet. I swear 
to you, unnatural magics are coming from that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hafengar's people will always be safe under my... Your room. Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragonbridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for? Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. What about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. You're dismissed. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. Hmm. You disgraced yourself at the party, didn't you? If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. Why did Ulfric kill your husband? Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. When Ulfric unleashed such fury, my husband, he... He simply ceased to be. That is all I will say. For it grieves me to speak of it. So you're the High Queen of Skyrim? Not yet, no. Although it is true my husband Torig was the High King, and I am his widow. Now is not the time to lay claim to such a title. This land is riven by war. And her people suffer for it. The Stormcloaks are a blight on Skyrim. And like any blight, must be purged. Only then will I take my rightful place as High Queen. Do you trust General Tullius? Hmm. A question I am all too familiar with. One my very thanes ask often. They worry that Tullius is so focused on the war that he risks forgetting what's best for our people. The real irony is that, while General Tullius is certainly no Nord, the people of Skyrim would be lost without him. Trust is always difficult, especially for my people. Yet we must trust in Tullius' leadership. For what other choice do we have? Do you like my outfit? It's quite fetching, actually. The craftsmanship is excellent. It was made by Regent Raymond. Oh, really? Well, you can tell them that I will be putting in a request for a few dresses quite soon. Okay. Do you need someone to check out Wolf School Cave? Oh, I thought that matter was handled. I think Falk is taking care of that. Okay. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. <laughs>